Ever wondered why certain foods can make you wince in pain? You might be dealing with the discomfort of kidney stones. These are solid masses made of crystals that can develop anywhere along your urinary tract, which includes the kidneys, ureters, bladder, and urethra. But what exactly causes these pesky stones? Well, they're not all created equal. In fact, there are different types of kidney stones, each with their own unique causes. Firstly, we have calcium stones, the most common type. They're often made of calcium oxalate but can also consist of calcium phosphate or malate. Eating fewer oxalate-rich foods like potato chips, peanuts, chocolate, and spinach can reduce the risk of developing this type of stone. Then there are uric acid stones, the second most common type. These can occur in people with gout, diabetes, obesity, and other types of metabolic syndrome. They develop when urine is too acidic, often due to a diet rich in purines, a colorless substance found in animal proteins such as fish, shellfish, and meats. Struvite stones are usually found in people with urinary tract infections. These stones can be large and cause urinary obstruction. They result from a kidney infection, so treating the underlying infection can prevent the development of struvite stones. Lastly, there are cysteine stones which occur in both men and women who have the genetic disorder cystinuria. These stones form when cysteine, an acid that occurs naturally in the body, leaks from the kidneys into the urine. Kidney stones can cause severe pain, often referred to as renal colic. Symptoms may not occur until the stone begins to move down the ureters. Accompanying symptoms can include blood in the urine, vomiting, nausea, discolored or foul-smelling urine, chills, fever and frequent need to urinate. Several factors can increase your risk of developing a stone. Modifying your diet can help prevent kidney stones. Animal proteins like meat, poultry, seafood and dairy products can increase levels of uric acid in your urine and increase the risk of developing kidney stones. If you have recurrent kidney stones, it's crucial to talk to your doctor even if your symptoms resolve without treatment. Diagnosing kidney stones involves a series of tests, including abdominal x-rays, intravenous pilogram, retrograde pilogram, ultrasound of the kidney, MRI scan of the abdomen and kidneys, abdominal CT scan, and others. In the next part, we'll delve into treatment, passing of the kidney stone, and prevention. Remember, always consult with your doctor. Your health is in your hands, so let's reset your life. If you enjoyed this information, feel free to like and share.